Hi, my name is Ron Dorn, and I'm here to give an opening presentation about the GCU 113 class. This is the basic presentation about GCU 113 that introduces American institutions integrating geography, government, history, and economic perspectives. I apologize for my voice, but it's time that I record this presentation. So thank you for your patience. This presentation will cover the requirements and intended audience, key questions that you might have, walk you through Canvas, and then some key information you should understand. The audience would be all students interested in meeting the gold American institution general studies graduation requirement and the maroon SB and H general studies requirements. Gold is people who enter ASU 2024 and later maroon is before. There's audiences in this class, many different majors, engineering, art, you name it. A lot of people interested in this class, but one of them are aspiring teachers with a focus on elementary education and other education majors. The reason why sometimes you'll hear discussions about education majors is that this course not only meets general studies, but their constitution's requirement for teacher certification. There's nothing to buy. All materials are links, either hyperlinks or PDF files. A key question I am sometimes asked is that someone is trying to access a lecture and they're gassed for a login. They try their AGASU right ID and it doesn't work and they email me. Ah, the class login for presentations and accessing some material behind a firewall is GCU 600 and the password Gaia. Another key question is how you are graded. This class uses a very unusual grading system. It is not percentage where you score an average or start with an A and see your grade go down. Most classes use percentages and I think that punishes you. This class uses a cruel grading where everything you do correctly gets you further, like in video games. Challenge by challenge, you accrue points and help your grade grow. But there's a warning. I cannot stop Canvas from posting percentage information. So students that don't pay attention to this presentation freak because they see a percentage information and think that it relates to their grades. It does not, only the points you see. So there are two general types of assignments. Little quizzes, where you complete the quizzes in modules based on lectures and readings and points only accumulate. Points establish your grade and you can stop when you like your grade based upon the point scale you see in the syllabus. And these quizzes and presentations are broken down into the five units you see. So common question is, can I stop if I'm happy with my grade? Yes, points only accumulate point to establish your class grade so you can stop if you like your grade. 
there are culminating essays at the end of class. Each culminating essay is on the following learner objectives that have been defined by an ASU committee overseeing this course. The fourth learner objective is you using evidence when you write these essays. You are to demonstrate how ideas and groups have historically shaped the creation of and change in U.S. institutions. You are to identify key institutions in U.S. politics and their impacts on social, economic, or political outcomes. And this will include differential impacts on disparate communities. And you are to describe the impact of key ideas, people, events, institutions, or movements on the nature, history, and boundaries of American citizenship and the various forms of civic participation in a self-governing society. All American institution courses have to follow these learner objectives. You will see details and instructions in Canvas Unit 6. And again, the points you earn on these essays adds to your point total. Due dates. Ah, all due dates are at the end of the session. The exact date is on the top of the syllabus. It drives some students crazy because they want specific due dates in a calendar. But the lack of due dates, specific due dates, provides a lot of flexibility for students with insane work and family schedules. So it's a juggling act. What I tell you is that if you're the type who needs to set a schedule, you use a pacing guide. It's extremely simple. You figure out the points you need, say for an A plus, and you divide it by the weeks left. And that is your guide to pace yourself. Look, I don't want you to get behind. It's the number one way to fail a class. Okay, so let me walk you through Canvas. There are five units with lots of quizzes, and the sixth unit is the culminating essays. So when you expand unit one, you see readings and lectures, a page at the top. This top page in all of the units is where you find the lectures <clears throat> and the readings. What follows are the quizzes. You get the lecture links on the top page and you get the quizzes below. It's the same for units two, three, four, and five, where you get a page with readings and lectures and then the specific quizzes. The quizzes you must finish if you start. They are not timed, but there's no repeats. And once you start them, you must be ready to roll. So be prepared. But be, even before that, there's a required syllabus quiz. The syllabus quiz is another way to learn the sorts of materials I'm talking to you about now. For example, where you find the lectures and readings at the top of the page, at the top page in the different units. And when you're asked for a logon and a password, it's GCU 600 and Gaia. And where do you find percentage information in the Canvas gradebook? Ah, the answer is no, ignore percentage. Only points matter. And where would you go to find out about the grading scale? So the syllabus quiz is kind of sarcastic. 
It's kind of tongue in cheek. It's just a way to make you know that you should have obtained this information from the presentation or the syllabus. The discussion board is great for items that you think other students would ask. But if it's personal, such as great information, email your instructor. So I hope in this presentation, you've obtained the requirements and audience, key question answers, Canvas walkthrough, and other key information. Thank you for your patience. And again, I apologize for my voice, but I need to record this before the class starts.